hi guys welcome back to my channel um monica walking purpose this morning is sunday it's my sabbath and i am coming to you with things being done a little different okay um this morning or this afternoon i should have said I want to take you to three steps why you need Jesus. Yes, you heard me correctly. Three steps why you need Jesus. Jesus loves you and he desires a relationship with you. And to give you full joy and purpose. So that's the reason why you need Jesus in your life. As I said before, three steps. Number one, I begin. One, you need Jesus because you have a past. You and I have a past. You can't go back, but he can. The Bible says, Jesus Christ is same yesterday and today and forever. And that comes from Hebrew 13 and verse 8. He can walk into those places of sin and failure and wipe the slate clean and give you a new beginning so that's number one the reason why you need jesus we all have a past i move on to question number two three reasons why you need jesus because you need a friend yes we all need a friend jesus knows the worst about you and i it doesn't matter what somebody want to say. It doesn't matter. The final says that Jesus know the best. The worst of us and the best of us. Yet he believe in the best. Why? Because he sees you not as you are. But as you will be when he gets through with you. What a friend. Huh? Really? What a friend. No wonder somebody says the best friend to have is Jesus. And the only thing you need to do is to trust him. I goes on to number three. Why you need Jesus. Number three says, because he holds the future. So it doesn't matter what is going on. There's only one man who holds the future and his name is Jesus. And this is the reason why you need him. Who else are you going to trust? Can you answer that question? Who else are you going to trust? You dare not trust your own. The songwriter already said that. He, in his hands, you are safe and secure. For today, tomorrow, you are safe. And for all eternity, you are safe. His word says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to do good and not evil. To give you a future and hope in those days when you pray, I, God, will listen. That scripture is found in Jeremiah 28 and verse 11 to 12. If you'd like to begin a personal relationship with Jesus Christ today, then you can pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my life. I believe you died for me and that your blood pays for my sin and if of eternal life. By faith, I receive that gift. By faith, I receive that gift and I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you have prayed this prayer with me, then you have the right to say that you are forgiven of your sins. You are washed and you are cleansed and you are now a child of God. If any at all, this has been a blessing to you, I would love for you to share it, like it, and subscribe to my channel. I am your girl, walk in purple, Monica Miles. Shalom. God bless you.